Good morning, everybody. It is Dana from Chick Flicks Video Marketing, and I am doing my first Facebook Live for 2017. And what am I talking about today? ROI of video, the return on investment of video, particularly for your small business. Now, I hear all the time people are asking me, well, what's the ROI of video? And how do I measure the ROI of, vid of video? Well, there's a lot of companies out there, fantastic companies that are set up to specifically gauge, measure, chart, and track the return on investment of video. But here's the thing, those businesses uh, cost a lot of services, cost a lot of money. And for a small business, it's not always a viable investment to make, especially not at the beginning, and especially not if you are already just scraping by and uh, do-it-yourself video is the way that you're going. So here's what I have to tell you about how you as a small business can measure your return on investment of your video. The first thing you need to do is decide what does that ROI look like for you? Is it dollars coming in the door? Is it new signups? Is it inquiries? Is it view counts? Is it, um, uh, you know, uh, sorry, I've lost my train of thought. Is it uh, the number of shares that your video has? You need to decide what that ROI looks like for you. The, you know, one thing I wanna say about this is when you start sharing out your video and creating video on a consistent basis, it's not an immediate return on investment. It takes time and you have to be patient. It's like a box of Band-Aids, right? Your return on investment on a box of Band-Aids isn't immediate. You're not using the whole box at one time. Slowly and gradually, that return on investment for that box of Band-Aids will show up when you cut your finger, when you burn your finger, which is what I did yesterday, making cookies for my kids. It's a gradual process and it's the same for video. For me personally, my return on investment for my video is when I walk into a space where I really don't know anybody, a networking event, and somebody inevitably will come up to me and say, I know exactly who you are. I have seen your videos. I watch your videos. I've been stalking you online through your videos. And it's not in a creepy way either. So for me, that's a huge return on investment just to know that people are actually watching. Um, you know, your views are another return on investment. Now, unless you have hundreds of thousands of followers, realistically, your video views are not gonna be in the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, and that's okay. If you get views, period, on your video, and comments on your video, that's a win. That, to me, is a huge return on investment. The other thing that is a big return on investment for me is when um, somebody reaches out to me and says, I found your website, I watched all your videos, I love what you're doing, can you help me with whatever it is? For me, those are really measurable returns on my investment, and for me, it's my time investment in creating these videos and doing Facebook Live, in creating video for my clients. Whenever I experience somebody or meet somebody who says, oh, I know who you are, that's a huge return on investment for me. And also, when I hear from my clients that they were hired based on somebody who had just seen their video and never actually met them in real life, that's a big return on investment, not just for me, but for my client. And it's happened three times that I know of, and there's probably more people out there who have watched your video and have not yet reached out, but they will. You know why? Because this is face to face and this is how you communicate and this is how potential clients get to know you and get to connect with you. And that my friends is the biggest return on investment for your video. Hope you have a fantastic day everybody. I will be checking in later. Next, later in the week or early next week with another 
hopefully useful, topic for Facebook Live video. Thanks for watching on the replay. Have an amazing week.